Hello Pega aspirants, are you struggling to understand Pega concepts? No worries, Harsha Trainings is here to help you understand Pega in depth. In this video, I am going to explain about the scopes of data page, especially how the node scope is going to get shared on multi-node environment. It is important for everyone to understand multi-node environment before they learn about node scope. So let's get started. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. If you have any doubts regarding any topic of PEGA, post your question in the comment section of this video. Let's get started now. Data page continuation. So yesterday we were discussing about data pages in the last class. That is, what is the purpose of data page is the main key point that we were discussing about. Okay. Generally, whenever a requester is requesting for data page. Okay. So requester has logged in and executing something during that execution data page is formed okay they have it was mentioned as data page what pega will immediately do is pega will not go to table pega will first go to pega will first go to clipboard and see if the data page is already available if data page is already available it will be shared if data page is not available then only it will go to table so how pega will come to know whether data page is already there or not so when a request is made when a request is made, request is made, Pega, Pega looks up, when a request is made for the data, Pega looks up, Pega looks up the clipboard for a data page, for data page. If data page is already there, if data page is there, present on the clipboard, okay, there on clipboard, then, then what Pega will do? Pega will copy the data, will copy the data, copy the data. It won't go to table, it won't execute rule and all, okay. If not there, if data page is not there on clipboard, not there on, so what does it mean? This is the first request. It means what? It is first request. Then Pega runs the rule, go to database, go to table, comma, fetch the data and place it on clipboard for use, clipboard for using purpose. This is how Pega will work. So what is the advantage of this? Only one time you go and fetch the data. Every time, so thousand requests have been made, thousand times you don't have to run the rule, don't have to go to table and bring the data. Only one time you reach out to the source where the data is available, bring it and put it in a SharePoint, put it in a cached place. So that next request onwards, it has to be copied. Data has to be copied from next request onwards. Clear everyone? Online students, are you clear with this point? This is what we have discussed. But as per the business, as per the business, there is a need of, there is a need of restricting the sharing to certain boundaries. Yesterday I was telling about that. There is a need of restricting the sharing of data to certain boundaries level. Okay, that's the need in the business. So for restricting the data page sharing, we have three levels of boundaries. What are those? Thread, requester, and node. Technically, these are called as scopes. What is it, what is it called as? Scopes. So there are three scopes of data page. Thread scope, requester scope, node scope yesterday i have told example also so if you when, when you create a data page if you select the option as thread scope then at runtime the data page will be shared within one work object multiple times data page will be shared multiple times within single work object from beginning of work object to ending n number of times it will be shared it will not be shared with the another work object with another work object. means second work object if you create again data page will be created Clear everyone? In the second work orbit also, you request for data page, then again data page will be created. Third work orbit again, same data page you need, then again data page will be created. So you will design like this only when you need data to be shared within object but not outside the object. Based on that scenario, you will choose this. Suppose the data page has requester option for the scope selected. And then this data page will be shared among multiple work objects within single requester session. What do you mean by single requester session? A login, 
and log off. Between a login and log off of requester, if you create 100 work objects, for the first work object, data page will be retrieved, freshly loaded. Remaining all work objects, it will be shared. It will be shared. When it will be deleted, when you log off, obviously it will be deleted. That, that is pretty natural thing. Okay. And in the above case, data page will be removed when you close the work object. That will not be accessible. Node, node means what? Third scope. Node, third scope is node. Node means server. So in this case, data page will be shared among multiple requesters who log on to same server. Who log on to same server. For this to explain the word same server, node scope. Okay, node scope I have told now. So for this, this point to explain, I will tell you one concept. So node scope means data page will be available among multiple requesters who log on to same server, but not with, with requesters on another server, another, understand? So for this to explain, I'll tell you one concept, which is just beyond, I mean like, not only related to Pega, universal concept that is called multi-node environment. What is the concept? I'll tell you, multi-node environment. Okay. I'll open one diagram and explain. Multi-node environment. See, I'll tell you one example to explain multi-node environment. Just let's imagine, okay, let's consider there is an application. Let's take the application like Amazon. Amazon application is there. So Amazon application is installed on one server, correct? Amazon application is installed on one server. Now, whenever you open a browser, in laptop, if you open browser, where is the mouse cursor? And here, Amazon.com, Amazon.in, whatever it is. When you hit the URL, the request from your browser goes to, the request from your browser is going to go to Amazon application server. And Amazon application server will respond to load the the page and all. That's how it works generally. Now let's talk about the load. Load means the number of people log into server is called as load. So on an average, just let's consider an, on an average per minute, at any minute, if you log into Amazon server and check the load, 10,000 active login persons will be there. So at any moment of time you log in and verify what is the average load you are finding. 10,000. That means the load, the, the server capability should, should be like, it should bear around 12,000 people. Around 12,000 people. Because 10,000 is load means 10,000. Sometimes it is 11,000. Sometimes it is 9,000. Sometimes you are seeing around 10,000. Approximately on an average, 10,000 means maintain a bit more bandwidth, like 12,000 related bandwidth you are maintaining for your server so that your application is running smooth. Now, Amazon has announced a, uh, an offer sale for a specific period of time, morning 6 a.m. to evening 6 p.m. on some special day. Okay, they have announced some offer. So now during that time, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on offer sales, so is the load going to increase or will it be same as previous uh, usual days? It will increase, the load will get increased. When the load increases, is it going to be just increasing by 1,000, 2,000 or it will drastically increase too much? It will drastically increase too much. Usual days, it is every day 10,000 on an average, but this time it may be 1 million. This time it may be 1 million. Now the server will crash. Server will be getting crashed. Now how to handle this situation? So that is Amazon, during this time, Amazon is going to maintain multiple application servers, not one server. The application will be deployed on server 1, server 2, server 3, 1000 servers. Now, these all the servers on which application is running, all these will be connected to one common server in front, like main gate, inside that so many sub gates, something like that. Okay, so entrance place is this main gate now. This is called load balancing server or web server. Generally, this is not application related. This is in the web, web server. This is web server as a gateway it is acting, correct? Load balancing server. Why it is called load balancing server? The reason is whenever a requester tries to log in, first to Amazon dot in when you type, the request first will go to load balancing server, not to the regular server. The task of this server is, 
it will identify how many people are there on node 1 node 2 no so this will read distribute the request this will distribute the request so suppose three three servers are there the application is deployed on three servers load balancing is there. 90 people have tried to log in so 90 people means 30 will be redirected to server 1 S server 2 another 30 server 3 another 30 this is how load will be balanced what is the bandwidth of each server 10000 1 million people log in logged in by average uh, bandwidth is 10000 it can bear only 10000 load you have so many servers available okay 1 million people logged in now 1 million people will be distributed among all the servers where each server can contain maximum of 10000 like that amazon will handle this situation now end user will not feel like i am i am uh, getting from multiple different servers like that okay you will feel like one server only so all servers all applications will connect to some database that's okay one database only to now this is called multi node environment that means in real world your application will not be running on single server suppose you take a, an application like google so how many servers will be there millions of servers will be there not only one two they may have one some village in the village entirely they might have their servers in their data centers okay so as an end user you will not feel like there are so many servers when you type google.com you will get google web page from some one one of the servers that's it so now this is called multi node environment so that means in real world applications you know our pega application if you join any project minimum three to four servers your application will be running multi node environment only your application will be running for sure now in that case you will have load balancing server so now when an operator log into pega so some operators may be redirected to server 1 some may be redirected to server 2 some may be redirected to server 3 like that it is possible to happen that's what the point i was telling whenever a requester is requesting for data page of node scope data page will be shared with all persons who log into that particular server that means data page will not be by default shared where is it by default data page will not be shared between two servers it is not shared so 100 people logged in okay out of 100 all 100 are here all 100 are on node one so person one by person one data page got created by person one data page got that will be shared with remaining all 99 remaining all 99 101 person logged in this web server load balancing server redirected 101 person here into second server he is also requesting for the same data page then for him data page will be created data page will be created understand clear everyone so that means node scope of data pages will be shared among multiple requesters who log on to same server but not with other servers with respect to multi node environment i told that point understand clear everyone online students are you clear with this point yes okay very good <laughs>